All right, so let's create an action that retrieves just one country based on the country's ID. I'm going to make it easier on myself and simply copy get countries action and then edit it as needed. So I'll copy the whole thing and paste it right here. So this one retrieves one country, so I'll rename the action to get country. And the first thing we need to decide is what route we want. And in this case, we simply want to add an ID of the country to the route. So it'll be API slash countries slash country ID. So I'll do in the comments, I'll add the country ID. But how do we actually add the ID into the action? Well, we use the HTTP get to retrieve the country and it allows us to specify the route inside parentheses. So over here, HTTP get will add parentheses and inside we will simply add the rest of the route we want. And in this case, we just want to add the ID. So the syntax is, and I'll put it in quotes because it's a string, like this, in parentheses, country ID. Or it could be just ID, that's actually very common, but I like to specify what ID it actually is. So when I name it country ID, it's clear that it belongs to the country. So this is how you add a route parameter to the URI. So we specify that it's HTTP get, and we over here on the top, over the class, we specify that the route is API slash, in this case countries, which is the controller. And this specifies that we also want slash and country ID. Now you don't actually add the slash here. The HTTP get will know that it's a combination of this route and this ID. So we added ID parameter to the route and now we also need to pass it into the action as an argument. So in our country, get country, we'll pass the integer country ID. Now, unlike when we were just displaying all the countries up here, and we didn't really care if there are any countries or not, it would make sense to check if the country the user is looking for actually exists. The user is looking for a specific country, not just a list of all countries. So he or she would probably appreciate if we display some sort of error message if the country doesn't exist. So how do we see if the country exists? Well, remember, we added a method country exists that we can call and pass the country ID to, and the method returns true if the country exists and false if it doesn't. So we can do an if statement and call that method and pass the country ID argument to it. So the first thing, we'll do an if statement and we'll check if not exist from the repository, we'll call the country exists and pass the country ID argument. So if the country doesn't exist, we will simply return a status of not found. So we will return not found. And if the country exists, we will continue executing the action. So next we want to make a call to the get country method in the repository. If the country exists, we want to retrieve it, of course. So instead of get countries, we will call the get country method. So I'll modify that to get the get country method from the repository. And all we do is pass the country ID as the argument. And I want to rename the variable to country as well, because we're just getting one country. So here we call the get country in the repository. We pass the country ID of the country we're looking for. And the country is then assigned to our variable. And just like before, we only want to retrieve the country name and the ID of the country. We don't want to retrieve the whole object along with the author. So we will use the country DTO class. But this time we do not want to get the list of all countries. We want a single country DTO object. So I'll rename countries DTO to just country DTO to make it clear. 
and again we don't want a list we just want a single object and here we will again assign the id and name values from the country variable so we don't need a for each loop and instead we will create a new object right here and we want the id to equal the country id and we want the name to equal the name from the country object and in our return we of course are returning the renamed object country dto along with the status code ok so this is our action now one more thing i want to do is to take care of the codes that could be returned from this action we of course still have 400 which is bad request that's right here if the model state is invalid we have 200 which is a valid okay but this one is not i enumerable this one is for a single country dto object so i'll modify that and there's one more that we have here and that's not found so that's 404 so we'll create another response with the 404 code all right so let's build it and run it and again i'm doing it with control f5 that starts my iis server and i can go to my postman and here again in the get we want countries and an id of a country so let's start one that i know exists let's say with id4 and here is the country which is germany let's try another with five and that should be USA, and it is. And let's add one that doesn't exist, which is, I don't know, 55, for example. And we get blank, and over here, note that we have status 404. So this is working correctly, and next, let's retrieve a country of a specific author.